Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums. Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm jumping inside of No Man's Sky, and I'm going to be hitting up the Reduxes. So there's one starting today on the 27th of November, and that one is... Oh, what is it? I can't remember what it is. <laughs> we'll find out when we get in-game. Yeah, Jums, now we have got two weeks to run each of these. And there's five of them. So that takes us all the way up to the 5th of February. I guess that's quite a long time. Anyway, let's head on over to the console and see which one is the first one. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> okay. Right, so here we go. It's Omega. Omega is the first one. So you can select equipment if you're starting from this console over here to take on board with you on your actual expedition. I'm just going to take a load of random stuff with me, really. I'm, I haven't really planned ahead. But let's just hit Start Expedition and Accept. And we'll have a look at the badges and we'll see if we can get an idea of what to do in what order. Well, this is starting on a bloody beautiful planet. That was a beautiful start. Like, yeah. Okay, Jums, there really isn't that many difficult badges in this one. We have to discover five, uh, six plants. We need to scan those. And in a later phase, we have to scan eight creatures. So make sure you're scanning creatures and you're scanning plants to pop those two milestones. There's also another one to dig up three items. I thought it might be treasure, but it's not. It's just items on a planet. You can do that before you even leave the first planet. So this is all fairly simple stuff. There is also another one for learning words, and you've got to learn 12 words, but you can just hit on up. Uh, there you go, learn 12 words. You can just hit up knowledge stones on a planet, so we'll see if there's a lot of knowledge stones. But yeah, going to head towards my ship, and on my way there, I might just well dig up these free treasures. That's going to get you the ticket to freedom. It's going to give you some navigational data and some salvage data, so it's not a bad first one to do. Be careful, there are some nasty creatures on this planet. I killed one, um, yeah, but it nearly killed me. I dug a hole in the ground. It actually followed me into the ground, so that was not fun. Okay, uh, apparently it's that way. Something I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off networking. So I'm going to turn off multiplayer because I don't want them to dig up the same things I'm dig digging up. And I'm also going to go into the difficulty and I'm just going to lower everything as far as I'm allowed to. Might as well make it as easy as possible for myself. There we go. And save those changes. Okay, so as I'm going over the first planet, all I'm going to do is scan all the plants, hit up all the knowledge stones, kaboom, that I see. And then I'm going to be learning the, the 12 words. There you go. Accept that. Lovely jubbly. And I'm heading over to these buried caches, digging those up. Kaboom, and you only need to find three of them to pop another badge. So we go scanning creatures. There's what the sky creatures as well, they count, so make sure you scan those. Scan your flora. I've already scanned quite a lot of flora on this planet. Things that also count as um flora are the hazardous flora. So if you see any hazardous plants, be sure to scan those too. And when you actually find like oxygen plants like that one over there. Scanning that is also going to count as a separate plant. So you can head on over, scan that one. Lovely jobs. And same with like um, the yellow plants as well. A lot of creatures are going to find you, like this guy. Little git. I'm going to scan him as well. Done. Take that creature in the freaking face, you get bag. Scanned all the plants. First planet's perfect for scanning all plants. That's my first badge popped. Okay, there we go, we've got the three treasures. Lovely jubbly, that's my second badge. Popped. Lovely jubbly. One of the hardest things you're going to find on your first planet is ferrite dust. And you need ferrite dust to make metal plating to get your ship off the planet. And yeah, there's not much ferrite dust on this planet at all. So that is a real bug bind. There's not much you can do. You can't really bring ferrite dust with you on the mission because... You, you only get that after you've warped and you can call in the spatial anomaly. So don't think bringing a load of ferrite dust is going to help you all that much. Especially not with this first phase, anyway. Right, I'm going to scan it, see what the secondary element is. That's oxygen. Okay. Mm, kind of a bit of a help, I suppose. Okay, we can now re repair the pulse engine. Lovely, jubbly. 
Okay, now you've got the same problem with repairing your launch thruster. You're going to need ferrite dust. You're going to need to turn that into pure ferrite. And ferrite dust on this planet really isn't in abundance. It's, it's a pain in your neck trying to find ferrite dust. A little heads up is make sure you get your adjacency bonuses with your technology. Make sure you move it all around. One of these oxygen recyclers was damaged. Make sure you get that repaired. Okay, if I can't find any rocks, what I'm doing is I'm lining up to the nearest knowledge stone hitting up a knowledge stone so i learn a word and hopefully finding a rock near it that i can blast and get some more ferrite you've got to watch out for these guys they're freaking lethal and they follow you all over the blinking planet so if i'm not seeing any rocks i look for a knowledge stone find a knowledge stone get a free word look around see if we can spot a rock and there you go look, i can see loads of rocks zap zap and get all these rocks nice i've got a whole field of rocks now nice i'm rocking okay to make the pure ferrite i'm going to put down the refiner which was just up on the d-pad on the quick menu and then i'm just going to put in some condensed carbon grab my ferrite dust probably only need half of that chuck that in there that's going to turn this 204 pure ferrite i don't know why that ticket of freedom's flashing on the screen like that but there we go hopefully i'll be able to take off now there we go, we can grab the pure ferrite, lovely jobs. Make sure you take that with you. And there we are, I can now fix this. Nice. Now something that I have brought with me is a load of repair kits, so I will be repairing all these as soon as I can get to the spatial anomaly. But for now, let's take to the skies. I guess. Okay, now once you're actually taken off and you've gone into space, there is actually a mission to shoot 50 asteroids, or 30 asteroids, 30 asteroids. And I'm shooting those now, so make sure you shoot your roids, I guess. You can always shoot a few more. It's always good to have a lot of tritium for these sort of expeditions. You may be doing quite a lot of pulsing and flying from planet to planet. So yeah, knock yourself out. Make sure you get your 30 asteroids at the very least. Sweet, there we go. Stardust. Again, that game. This used to be a game called Super Stardust on the Amiga. It was freaking amazing. Beyond its time, at its time. Okay, there is another mission that you need to be conscious of and aware of. Uh, so let me let me show you which one that is. Is this one right here? Photograph three worlds. Now those worlds in question, if I can make the mission come up. One minute, one second. Mission. There we go. You need to photograph one scorched planet, one Ellis, and one frozen planet. Okay, there is a hot planet in this very first system that you may be able to photograph to get that scorched one. But other than that, oh, there's another Solarium one, though, which is a hot planet. So there's two hot planets right there. Star Bramble, that's the one we was on, I believe. And there's also a frozen planet here. So you can get your frost and your hot planets here. The only one you can't get is airless so far. But as soon as it says that you've entered in through the atmosphere, and you sort of like get that red haze disappear, you don't even have to land. You can just press down on the D-pad, go into camera mode, and take your photo and that should count there you go frozen planet one of one now i'm going to land here and see if there's any creatures i can scan just to get up my fauna count of scanning fauna on the very first planet though there is water if you was lucky enough to be near to water you could have scanned the fish inside of the water i wasn't lucky enough so you go i'm going to scan my creatures here and hopefully get the quota that i need to complete my pokedex all right there we go oh well, that's escape velocity because we've just landed on another planet and i'm just going to scan a couple of creatures if i pop another badge i'll let you know okay there we go i've popped it for the eight alien life forms there's a nice little bipedal type looking gek guy on this planet pretty darn awesome what i'm not seeing a lot of though is i'm not seeing a lot of knowledge stones on this planet so you may have wanted to stay on the first planet and get a few more knowledge stones done but there we go that's all the fauna done i'm just scanning a couple more for no real reason okay so one other milestone to be aware of is, is inside of phase four and it's boundary failure you've got to take out 15 sentinels so what i would say is as you're flying over planets if you do come across a structure that has like a save beacon by it it should also have in close proximity well it should have one of those little save beacony flags if you can pick up the save beacony flag then it should 
hopefully give you navigational data. At the moment I think I've landed on someone's base, not on an actual waypoint. So as I'm flying over the planet I'm just going to do a scan. You can see that little blue marker there, hopefully that's going to give me a waypoint and I can show you what I mean. Okay, yeah, looks like someone else, I don't know whether this is a base that's been built here or whether it's just a uh, prefab building, I think it's a prefab building. Right, land here and then there's a little beacon, I'll show you what I mean. Up ciao and it's one of these pylons over here one of these sort of things hit that you're going to get a navigational data you only really need one we're just going to get ourselves a chart so we can find like a, a secure or manufacturing facility okay so i do that before you go to the space station we're going to go to the space station soon to learn words and finish off our words before i go to the station i'm just flying to one of these solarium planets i'm just going to take a photo from inside of here and see if that pops the badge for having a hot planet done let's have a look see come on come on and we're flying through the atmosphere down we go pull back up oh, that's quite a nice planet and take a photo boom okay i'm gonna see if that's worked in a moment now showing two or three so that worked so we've only got the airless world left to go awesome I'm going to fly into the station, we're going to learn some words and we can also get one of those cartography charts for when we want to go sentinel hunting. I probably won't go sentinel hunting until I've managed to upgrade my multi-tool somewhat. Make sure you claim all of your badges, make sure you install all of the tech if you get given tech and uh, get yourself kitted out properly. Okay, the aliens that you want to talk to to learn words are the ones that are actually moving around or on this mezzanine. You can't talk to the vendors, you can't talk to the people that land here. You need to go to request dialogue help and just uh, choose one of these options and you're going to learn a word. Got to learn, what, 12 words? And I think I learnt about six down on the planet from Knowledge Stone, so I think we're almost halfway there. Now, if you didn't manage to get yourself navigational data down on the planet, sometimes hitting up these cubes will give you navigational data. And there you go, I got myself nanites instead though, which sucks a little. Right, and I don't think there's too many others walking around right now. If you've already visited them, they will say visited above their heads. That does help a little as well. There you go, that one says visited like that. So, don't really want to talk to him again. Let's head on over here. There's a couple more now. There we go. 12 words learned. Done, dilly, and done. I, mean, I think we've done most of the hardest badges. I mean, yes, we have to take out those sentinels. Okay, so you don't have a hyperdrive. And you won't have a hyperdrive until you've actually put down a base computer and established a base. Now, the very first planet was quite nice, that lush planet. However, it was covered with nasty, bitey creatures. If I am going to make a base there, I'm going to build it out at sea on an island, I think. But something to do before you fly on out is go see the cartographer and if you have got um, the navigational data like I picked up swap it in exchange for specific charts and get yourself a secure facility one so secure site of interest that one there oh looks like I can get a couple there you go get a few of those then lovely and I might get an emergency one as well Distress signals. There you go. Had a few. Okay, got you. Let's go. Now, I don't want to build a base on this planet because it says activated and magnetized. If it says activated and magnetized, that's a massive hint that it's going to have storms and they're going to be frequent. I decided in the end to come down on the ringed planet and build my base here, mainly because that other planet didn't have hardly any ferrite dust. And it also had those horrible nasty creatures so i figured i'll put that down my base somewhere over here now i just touched down next to a random building and this one i think so might be a secure one it looks like it's got a giant lock on the door i don't see many sentinels around and that could be because i lowered my combat so i might have to change my setting and dial my combat back up to normal so let's just put that down for now let's just hit a save there and while there is no sentinels i'm just going to put down my base computer lovely hit a save and we could always try taking on these sentinels early but first i'm just going to launch and claim this as a base once you put down the base computer interact with it and it would let you collect some base parts there you go we've got a fair few base parts there mainly prefabs 
Nice. Okay, right. Just go into your build thing. Oh, it's saying that I have to build foundation. Oh, it's telling me what I have to build. Now, if you haven't got the parts, you can glitch these in. I'll stick that in anyway. I think you can delete it afterwards. I don't think you have to go with what it's telling you to do. Cylindrical base room. Okay, well, maybe I do then. All right. And then this on top of there, right? Okay. It's a bit weird how that's showing blue. No, that's good. Okay, right. Cool. And it looks like we're going to have to build the base as per the instructions. If you haven't got the parts, if you press triangle or whatever it is to go into wire mode, it'll tell you all your controls at the top. You see where it says toggle wire. So I'm pressing triangle, then I'm going to press toggle wire and the place button at the same time. And then it puts it down. Okay. So do that again. No. Oh. I don't think I've got the part selected that I want. So there we go. Choose that again. There we go. Whoops. I managed to put myself in one of those. Okay, right. So now I can put these down. Pop, pop. What's next on the old agenda then? And I've already done those. Hmm. Right, back over to there, choose the base, make sure it's the right one. Cylindrical room. Okay, now it's moved on. Right. Boom. There we go. Now we've got to put doors on the dang thing. And I bet you haven't got the materials for them either. Oh, I do. Nice, I'll put one there. We'll put one there as well. Delete that wire. And... Kaboom. Anyway, I'll continue on now showing you how to glitch things in so you can build the base for free. Yeah, I'm actually glitching in loads of solar panels because when you delete them, you get a load of um, chromatic metal. It saves me digging up a load out of the ground later. Okay, right. There we go. Go. Cool. Okay, make sure you upload your base. There we go. My house. Done, done, and done. Right, there we are. Now I can collect that. That's going to give you your warp drive, then you can leave the system. But you are going to need microprocessors. I've got all the chromatic metal I need from all those solar panels I put down. Because I was sneaky! Sneaky! Let's hit that. Save that. Right. Well, what I'm going to do... I've got some projectile ammunition now as well. I haven't got a lot of projectile ammunition. Got a little bit more. Let's see if we can make some more projectile ammunition. So, where is it? It's just there. Let's make a load more. Got 9,999, which should do the trick. Righto. Let's go back into my options, go into difficulty, and on survival elements, so on combat, where's combat? Combat, combat, combat. Yeah, survival elements, yeah. Survival difficulty, I think combat might be all right. I just, enemy strength, I'll put it onto standard then. There we go. Hopefully, that will make the sentinels appear when I shoot these doors. Let's give it a go. There we go. Sentinels have detected me. Don't need to shoot the doors all the way in. It's just a case of shooting these sentinels. They're only one star at the moment on wanted level or whatever. And it doesn't matter what sentinels you destroy. They all count. So just take on the weakest ones. If you leave that spawner alone, it's going to spawn in more sentinels for you. Taking out these ones is going to give you this little canister here, which gives you back your shields. So pick your battles, pick your fights carefully. Be quite clever about what you do and when you do it. And hopefully you're going to stay alive long enough to do this. So there we go. Let's take out that little healer. Take out this guy. We'll get a canister. Oh, come on. Reload. I need that canister. Okay, cool. Now, if things get too tough for you, you've just built your base. Just run away. Get in your base. And then your wanted level should go back down to one star. Boom. 
they're going to search for me. They're not going to find me. You've got these kits in here now as well, so you can apply a little bit of first aid. He has a protection back up. There we go. Just wait for a while. And uh, our shields will go back up. I wanted level to go down. Jobs are good. There you go. Shields going back up right now. I've actually managed to do half the quantity already. So that's seven down. So I just got to repeat what I just did. But now it's down to one star. And we've got a sentinel right there. We can shoot that guy. That's going to call this guy in. I'm just going to stand in my base doorway now. And you'd notice that sometimes they don't even shoot at you, which makes things a heck of a lot easier. I'm not going to shoot the spawning, the, the spawner one, the one that's going to summon in more sentinels. I'm going to take out that guy. There we are. I'm going to leave the green canisters on the floor, because why not? Don't really need them at the moment. You can see there it's gone up to a two star rating. I could just duck back into the... Um, the base and let it go back down to a one star if I'm finding it too difficult but right now I'm doing pretty good now I can see that little healer there so I'm going to take him out I'm on 13 of 15 now take out that little healer take out him and that's going to be the last one done right go back in here wait for the sentinels to lose sight of me and that should pop the badge so there you go, chums. That's the bonus of building your base at one of these secure facilities, like a manufacturing facility or a place where there's a load of sentinels. Easy peasy. Okay, and there you go. Pop the badge. Pop the milestone. And I think that's probably the hardest one. There's only one other tricky one, and that's to find the airless world. Also, we've got to find an exotic creature and scan that. We've got to find a sunken crashed freighter in water. So there are a couple of other milestones that you may need help with. Leaving all these green canisters, now that I've got full energy, picking them up would result in me getting salvaged glass. Now, salvaged glass, when you unpack the salvaged glass, has a chance of giving you technology or giving you some pretty rare items that might come in handy later on. Might. Right. Okie dokie. Now, before you leave this planet, make sure you get yourself some ferrite dust. Make sure you craft some adamantine housing. Now, you did just get given antimatter, so you should be able to create a warp cell which is brilliant and we've also got the plans now for the hyperdrive and what we need is a five microprocessors you can buy them up inside of the station now i killed a lot of those creatures on the very first planet so i should have quite a lot of their innards these things sell for quite a lot of money so i might just sell some of those we've also been given these other bits and bobs here that also sell for quite a lot so hopefully you've still got some of this stuff hopefully you haven't had to bin it off so we can go and sell that up in the station got just got some more glass i'm trying to find it but i can't see it now something you can do as you're leaving a planet you can always shoot the planet get yourself a load of dehydrogen and get yourself some ferrite dust get yourself some carbon get yourself all the basic items that you feel that you might need for your journey just by shooting the heck out of the planet and i wouldn't suggest doing this for too long but it's just going to get you some basic resources it's just an extra tip it actually tells you the amount that you need at the bottom so i know that selling a load of these innards that i've got should near enough pay for them or easily pay for them i should say because i killed quite a lot of those predatory creatures because they were trying to bite me i am a tasty steve it is telling me to sell my valuable bromide salt i didn't even know i picked up bromide salt maybe it was given to me as a reward or something there we go let's interact with this then let's see what we've got so it's salt sell and i'm going to sell oh yeah bromide salt yeah i'll sell all of that nice one that's giving me a fair whack of currency but what i was going to sell was all of those innards from the cat so there we go get a load for those i can sell my gecknip as well even though that is classed as contraband i believe but i'm going to sell it anyway i'm going to sell all the mordite i'm going to sell the viking daggers the corvax cubes and that should give me more than enough for what I need I, I hope anyway let's go to buy and let's uh, have a look see how much these are 27,000 each so bump 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 five yeah easy easy peasy okay now we can go over to a hyperdrive 
and get that installed. Dundily and done. Oh, and then you need to charge it, obviously. It's time to leave this system. So here we go, let's hit up the hyperdrive. Let's jump systems. up -cha! And away we go. Okay, and that automatically pops a badge into Stella. Yeah, just remember to collect all these sort of badges. So here we go, dundily and done. We've nearly done all of phase one. And we've just learned the actual recipe for that too. I'm just going to... Oh, okay, we've got a hailing channel. What's that all about? Hello there, Nada. And yeah, we can now contact the uh, the old spatial anomaly. So there we go. Let's call it in. There we are. Boom. Let's fly on in. And we can claim all of our stuff from the actual terminal and get all that installed, which would be awesome. So this is actually a badge to find the spatial anomaly anyway. And it looks like we have to actually speak to priest entity Nada. But uh, I'm just going to head on over to this, this terminal over here and claim all my goody goody gun drops that we put in there at the first instance of playing this. Now if you launch this from the title screen, obviously you're not going to have access to this console, all the stuff that's in here. And so this stuff this might not be relevant to you. Now I've got my repair kits. I can just repair all of these items on the ships, which is nice. So I just hit repair and then hit my repair kit. Boom. Done. And I can do the same on the multi-tool. Get these repaired. Rather than use my actual um, materials, just use my repair kits. Okay, well I've took everything that I need for now from there anyhow. But then the next step is to go to speak to Nada. Now if your jetpack isn't strong enough to get you up there, you can go up the rope, ramps you can go the long way around. Or you can just jump on this cube and then fly on over to here. Lovely jobly! And that's Nada. The guy looks like he's straight out of Daft Punk. Okay, after you've exhausted all options with him, you're going to pop that badge. Nice! There we go. Done, dilly and done. Inventory is full. Well, there's a fix for that. If you run down to the back of the spatial anomaly, there's this little sort of canister at the back here by this one that flicks out her tongue, Celine. Go past her, go to this interact with that and you can then get an extra slot for your exosuit now i've brought a, a couple of extra slots with me just five that's all i had so i'm going to put those in as well there we go got a few extra slots there now i should be able to pop that badge boom lovely jubbly because i repaired everything inside my exosuit because i brought repair kits with me i can now claim that thank you now, if you haven't got the repair kits, you can get them aboard derelict freighters. If you call in a derelict freighter, we can purchase them from the scrap merchant. Or you may just be able to repair a lot of those things anyway, because it was all basic resources at the end of the day. Now, I have brought a load of salvage data with me. I might go and spend some of that on base parts and things. OK, John, so this is the second system that I went to. I hope it's the same second system that you go to, because you know, you've only got one warp drive. But there's a planet here, the ringed one, and it says exotic animal here. Someone's actually named it or marked it that with a base. So I'm going to be going there. It's not that one. It's the ringed planet. Where's the ringed planet? There's the ringed planet. Let's head on down and let's scan the exotic animal. I don't think this classes as an airless world. Let's see if there's an airless world inside of this system. So we've got that one that's the plated. That one which is blighted, which yeah, fungal. Nope. Nope. And nope. There's no airless world here, so we can't do the photography mission. Okay, it may take a couple of seconds to actually render in or appear. But there you go, that's what you're looking for. A little red dot and these little creatures like that. Little weird jellyfish looking things. There we go. And that's the exotic life form found located. Right up. Someone over here. Uh, it's not that one. Hang you. Okay, it's under there. And claim badge. Now, not, not that we need to, but if you go into the discoveries, if you go into this planet and go into this creature, just hit there, hold to register. It's going to register that you've, you've done that and you're going to get some nanites. We're on 700 old nanites, which is good. 
Yeah, I've flown into the station. There's a couple of reasons why I've gone into the station. The first reason being is up by the multi-tool, you've got this little sort of vendor here, but you've also got this, which you can then get another slot to your exosuit to expand that out. Now, luckily I brought some multi-tool expansion with me, and I also brought in some ship expansion slots as well. So I'm gonna get all those installed, but this isn't necessarily a step that you can follow if you didn't bring those items with you. Right, so I don't think there's any other useful planets in this system, but if there are, at least I touch base inside the station so I can walk back here. Now, I would suggest touching base in every station and at least going over and expanding your slottage for your exosuit. This is what I mean, just in here, this little tube thing, and get another slot installed. I might put mine up in my technology. Yes, you can just click up there and install it there if you prefer. Okay, I've got a few things to sell at the Galactic Trade Terminal as well, just to make a little bit of space inside of my inventory. A few things that I brought into game that sell for quite a lot of units, so I'm going to sell all these stasis devices. There we go, I think that's all I really want to sell. This is actually the Rendezvous 1 system. The previous system that we landed in didn't even have a space station. It was a completely abandoned area of space, and it didn't have a dead or airless weld in. Something I need to check is this system. This one has a webbed planet, which again has the exotic creature, but there's no airless world in here, so we still can't do the photography mission, even by the time we've reached Rendezvous 1. Okay, well I've headed down there, so it's the you know, closest marker, but it's kind of obvious where we've got to go. This big freaking structure, I reckon. So let's go and touch on down and see if this is indeed Rendezvous 1. I just flew in slow and it rendered. I did aim for a landing pad. I don't think it's given me one. No. I landed on a roof somehow. <laughs> okay, right. Let's head on over then. This should be rendezvous one. Sweet. Dum 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 dum. Rendezvous one any second now. There we go. We've now reached rendezvous one. Now, something to be mindful of is these actual points here sell a lot of commodities that you just don't find anywhere else. So it might be worth on buying yourself some bits here if you do need them. Hey, okay, now you can collect your posters by hitting that little badge on the bottom corner. And that's phase one. Okay, yeah, now on your expedition you should have witnessed the Atlas as your first badge in phase two. And we have to go and speak, I believe, again to Nada or Apollo. And yep, back up to Nada. Hello there, chappy. So we're learning about Leto. And yep, talk to him. So it gives you the instructions to go to the galactic map from your quick menu. And then you use the Atlas station marker if it hasn't already put it up. But for me, it's already put it there, I believe. We've got to jump all the way, all the way down there it's out of warp range at the moment though okay so it's a fair few warp drunts so i'm taking advantage of that flying into each station and upgrading my exosuit but not only that i'm going to be checking the starship vendor up there on the second floor mezzanine to see if they sell any warp drive modules that are s class because if they do then that's going to greatly improve my warp jump range and I wouldn't have to do as many. Let's see if he's got one. So you go, let's chat to him. Go to purchase. That is not a warp drive module, although it looks like it. It's an S-class reactor. It's to build your own starship. There you go, he's got one. So I can afford one, and I can do a reload and buy another, maybe even another. So to buy another, all you need to do is jump in your ship. Out of your ship. That creates an autosave. Then you want to go into here and reload that autosave. And when you go and speak to him, he'll sell you yet another one. Now you only need three. If you buy any more than three, it, it breaks your warp drive. So here we go. Let's uh, purchase another one. Boom, boom. And I'll have that. Thank you very much. Let's see if there's anything else. Nothing else worth having. Perfect. Jump in my ship, out of my ship, and do the same again. Ciao. Now everybody knows about this reloading step. 
I just don't know why Hello Games doesn't make it so you can buy at least three modules. You know, if you can afford them, why not just buy them and save people the aggro of freaking doing the reloading? It's a pain in the blinking ass, to be fair. Head on down here. Let's purchase okay, that one. Done, deli, and done. Right. Nice. And then I'm going to head on over here and upgrade my exosuit one slot as well, because why not? You can also call in the actual Nexus and upgrade your exosuit in there again. So you can do two per galaxy hop. But anyway, I'm going to get all those modules installed, located that I just purchased. Right, so I've got three of them. So in they go. And I want to put them near to my other warp drive, so might as well move these, actually. If you move these over to where the boosted slot is, put the S-Class on the boosted slot, that's going to boost your warp drive range massively. So there we go. Let's get the other two in. Let's see how far we can jump now. Now there'll be no messing around. I'll be able to soar through the universe. Let's go. I still haven't come across an airless world in these jumps that I've been doing, chums. Um, so maybe it might be a rendezvous two or something. Let's just head on down here where it's given me the Atlas marker. We'll check the Atlas. The Atlas system, see if there's a dead world there. Nope, no Atlas world here. We've got to fly in, we've got to go speed to the Atlas, and that should, I'm hoping, complete the badge that we've got at the moment on our expedition, which is this one, Witness the Atlas. Okay, when you do go down to the Atlas, these little things, interact with them. You're going to get yourself some warp cells. There you go. Lovely jubbly. Whoop cells. For free! For free, I might add. There you go. The speed to the Atlas doesn't really matter what options you you select, but um, yeah, hopefully it's going to complete that badge for you. Cool. Now, chums, if you are liking this little mini playthrough guide or play along guide, if you want to call it that, please hit a like, subscribe, and all that sort of shenanigans. Salute to Mondo, people in the viewerverse. Thank you very much. Okay, well that's just dumped me on some random planet, but what a beautiful random planet that is. Heard the voice of the Atlas. Lovely jubbly. Let's pop that then. So if it has walked me to a whole new system, and maybe, just maybe, this system might have a dead world in it. Let's have a quick look, see if it has. Well, that one definitely isn't the one it. Um, nope. 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 No, no, actually, this is the same system I was in before. All right, fine. I thought it might have taken me somewhere interesting. It didn't. It just dropped me on one of the planets in this system. Okay. Um, I don't see my starship anywhere. Do you? Well, that sucks, doesn't it? Well, I think I had the actual launch thrusters fully recharged, so I'll just call it to me. But that would be a bit of a git if you didn't have your launch thrusters recharged, wouldn't it? Man, this is a noisy planet. Okay, let's get out of here. What's the next badge? Let's go and have a quick look. See, witness memory, create memory of ocean. Right. I don't know what this is all about. I'll find out. Okay. Well, what this says is it says reach the stars and press square to awaken this memory. Okie dokie. Let's do it then. Oh, it says current need silicate powder. Oh, it looks like I need to get some silicate powder. So let's just go get some silicate powder quickly. I sh didn't notice that before I took off. So here we go. Let's get the multi tool. And train manipulator mode. Let's zap into the ground then. All I'm going to do is make it as big as possible by pressing R1. That should get me oodles and boodles and loodles of silicate powder. There you go, we've got loads of silicate powder now. That's probably more than enough. It hasn't said anything though, has it? Right, that'll do a trick. Lovely jubbly. Oh no, it's saying I need salt. Alright, we'll sort that out in a bit. Actually, salt. One second. Now I've installed this, which is a personal refiner mark two, which gives me two slots. So all I need is dehydrogen, dehydrogen. I ain't got much of that, and oxygen. Bam, 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 bam. Oxygen, oxygen. Where are you? There you go. And that's going to make salt. But as you can see, I probably haven't got enough dehydrogen. So let me just get some dehydrogen quickly. 
Hold on, I've got a load more dehydrogen just sitting there. So why can't I stick that in there? Boom. Take that out of there then. Let's go back in. Let's see if we can find that bigger clump of dehydrogen. There we are. That'll do the trick. Put in a little bit of fuel. And away we go. Ten seconds later, I've got a load of salt. I guess I only need 33 of it, so that should do the trick. Okay, so now I can create that. Memory of oceans. Oh, still got myself one hyperdrive module there. That's going to break it, so I need to find the better one out of all of them. And get rid of the one that's not so good. Which is that one. Lovely. Okay, so I'm up in space. Now I just need to reveal the memory. Okay, now I need to pulse. Alright, there you go. Pulsing. We've got like a little countdown -y thing going on down there. Boom. Oh, we got a lovely giant jellyfish, the child of Helios. Well, that's what it was called the first time I saw it, anyway. Absorb the memory, lovely and jubbly. Done, done, and done. I just skip that as quickly as I possibly could, not to spoil anything for you if you like reading the um, the lore. Let's grab that one, lovely. And that's that one learned to cater it as well. Sweet. And uh, next up, we've got to expand our base. So the best way to expand the base is probably to go into the actual station and use the teleporter Terminus to go back down to your planet. Or you could call in the Nexus if it's close. You can see it right there. And use the teleporter in there to go back to your base. Now, something we could do is try and build a wonder projector while we're down there. I think we've already been given the wonder projector. Um, so hopefully I can use that as well. So if you are going to use the wonder projector, you have to set something inside your discoveries as a wonder. So something that you've discovered that you quite liked. So if I go back to the, oh my days, look at this planet list that I've got here. I was hoping just to go to the rendezvous planet that we was at before, but I've got so many here. that It'd probably make more sense to just scan something on the planet while I'm building the base. Okay, so from here you just hit your bases, there's my house, and teleport. Boom! And it's pretty much the same as before, you've been instructed to install things, and if you haven't got the things to install, again use the wire and place mode, and uh, you get it for free. Type deal, you know? Uh, we need three of them, so... I'll put down a couple, there we go. Leave the wires, get rid of that, and then I can put the windows in. One, two, and I'll put that one now. Oh. Lovely jubbly, and boom. Put one over there as well. Okay, right, glass corridor. All right, well, I might take that one out and put that one in. There we go, I prefer those. They look nice, I don't know. Oh, it says I need a third one as well. I don't really want a third one. All right, well, I guess I've got to have one. But you get the idea. Okay, well, this is a bit tedious. It's told me that I need to get a ceiling light from the spatial anomaly and then put it down here. Well, I haven't got any salvaged data left. I want to use it all on other stuff. I didn't think a ceiling light would be needed. So, I don't think... You're going to be able to purchase one without digging up a load of salvaged data. So I'm looking for this sort of icon there, buried technology, and we'll go dig some up. And I don't know how many salvaged datas the actual ceiling light costs, so... Fun times. I'll grab that one. Okay. Um, some more over there. Let's go get a little bit extra just in case. Now something that you can do, if, if you get yourself one portable refiner and put your salvage data in there, then put another portable refiner right over the top of it, like so. And get another one and put that over it, like so. Whenever you pick them up, I'm going to get three times the amount. So I had six, so now I have 18. So I can do that again. There you go, show you. 
get your salvage data bum ba dum ba dum salvage data there we are Let's stuff it in there get your portable refiner and stick it on top of that one and again pick them up we have three times 18 which is 54 Awesome. Right, now let's go up to the Spatial Anomaly and let's go and get that ceiling light. Hopefully it's not going to ask me to get a load of other stuff. I don't want to be going backwards and forwards all day. Heck, no I don't. Zoom. Pow. Okay, and there's the ceiling light. Was it going to give it to me for free? Because look, it hasn't got the orange marker on. I had 54. It's now taking it down to 53. So you only actually needed one. Alright, well I might buy a few other bits up here, just in case, anyway. I'll buy a few more lighty bits, but, you know, we don't need to, I don't think. Cool! All right, let's head on down then. Let's use the teleporter in here to go back to base. So there's a giant teleporter just up this ramp. And over here, past this guy that looks like a demon. His name's Mercury. Let's head on over here then. Let's go and hit this up. chick pow And then I just want to hit your base and my house. Off I go. Okay, now this ceiling light has been as, has been broken for as long as I can remember. Um, so although you put it on the ceiling, and you've got power to your base or whatever, it it actually doesn't have power. It's pretty damn weird. Well, it's, it's actually off. It doesn't light up anything. All right, got it. Well, that's that done then. I'll head on over to the badges. Well, oh, these look a little bit squiffy. And uh, expedition. And pop that. Boom. Done, dilly, and done. What's the next one then? Enter into a black hole. Alright, locate a black hole on the galaxy map. Is it just going to give us one on the galaxy map? Or will we have to go and speak to Apollo inside of the space station and ask him to give us one? We shall see. We shall see if it's highlighted one for us. Because right now I've jumped back to my base, which is in Rendezvous 1. It looks like it's found one for us. Just there. I guess. And we're on our way. Now I'd imagine that all of you guys also have your base on the first system. So hopefully it's locked onto the same system for Black Hole for you. So let's have a look at the Discoveries page. Not Alice. Not Airless. Not Airless. Not having much luck with this Airless world for our photography mission, are we? Alright. Is that our black hole? I think it is. That looks freaking mental. It's all more like an orange hole. Out of the way, boulders of space. I got a black hole to go into. Here we go, people. Huzzah! And away we go. So yeah, people, hopefully you're enjoying this playlist. I've already mentioned before. If you are, hit that like and subscribe. If you've already done that, share this video with friends. I'll see you at the other side. Oh, would you look at this? It looks like I've got some sort of freighter encounter, which means we can get a freighter for free if we defendicate it. So yeah, take out these ships, help it out, and get yourself a free freighter. Hopefully you get a good one. I'll let you know what I get after I've taken these guys out. After you blow them up, pick up the canisters. You get free stuff. Yeah, there we go. We may, may managed to spend them all off. I've got an incoming message from the fleet commander. I'll go aboard his vessel. Sweet. I'll pop that badge as well, which is over in the expedition. Slap a jack. All right. So where is this freighter? There it is. Let's fly on board and let's see what we get for free. Now, if you do turn down your first freighter, the next one you get would be even better. But there's no telling when it's going to come in. So I usually on on these throwaway saves, I usually just go for whatever gives yeah, I get given. And if you want to know what you're going to get given before you go in up and speak to the actual commander, as soon as you're out of your ship, use your analyst visor on the wall, and you can see there it's going to be a C class 16 plus nine. So if you didn't want this one, you could just fly straight out at that point and hope for best that you get a better one on the second try. But I'm going to go up and go see the old uh, captain of this one. And I took the slow way. Yeah, I could have teleported, couldn't I? Now, uh, where is he? Where, where is he? There he is. Hello there. I'll have your ship, mate. 
Okay, at the opposite side of the My Black Hole, I've come across a low atmosphere planet called Weristo Alpha. So I need to go find planet Weristo Alpha and get it scanned. So here we go, let's look for that. Well, not get it scanned, but take a photograph of it. Uh, it's, always, it's always the last one I freaking look at. Now, this whole system's already discovered. So I've got a feeling that everybody's coming here. I hope, anyway. Okay, so the airless ones are always going to have like rusted metal on, or a vast majority of them have. In fact, I'm not too sure whether they they never do have. You know, rusted metal seems to be the defining quality of these places. Let's fly on down then. They won't have water. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's funny, it's airless, but we're still getting like you know that burn as we're flying in, almost like it's got an atmosphere, but it hasn't. Right, there we go, let's take a photo then. Shkaboom. And screenshot time. There we go, grand tour, done. Sweet! Right. Now you could go into the station if you want, if you want to mark this on your station map. Now we've got the neutron processor as well. Or you can just call in the old Nexus and use a teleporter there to teleport back to your base. Because one thing that I didn't do while I was at my base was put down the Wonders projector. Which I mentioned I was going to do, but then I didn't do it, did I? There we go. Anyways, let's fly on back now. Well, let's teleport back down to the uh, base. Okay, so we're back at base. Now, because this is my first system, hopefully inside of my discoveries page, if I go back a level and then hit on up that lovely first planet I was on, that's got all my discoveries, and I could have him as my wonder projector. Yeah, add to wonders, L3. Why not? We'll stick him there. Lovely. I'll just call it Trico, the Triceratops. Sweet. That do. Then I want to put down a wonders projector, which is just there. If you haven't got the stuff to build it, glitch it in. There we go. Head on over. Oh, you just have to build it. You don't even have to put a wonder in it. That that's a bit that's a bit cack, isn't it? Well, I want to put a wonder in it. So there you go. There we are. Lovely. We got a teleported dinosaur. Isn't he wonderful? Isn't he lovely? I think he is. Right there we go. There's a memento. Done and done. Meow. Look at me go. I still haven't fixed that one over. Okay, right. Yeah, if you pop a badge while moving, you just slide. If you pop a badge while you're swimming, you just drown. And you sink to the bottom of the ocean like a brick. So be careful about that. Right, there we go. Let's head on up then. We're going to be going to a rendezvous 2. Hopefully it's not too far away, because I'm now in rendezvous 0, technically. Now I have upgraded my warp drive like to the nines so hopefully i'll be able to catch back up to where i need to go right not seeing rendezvous two there yet so yeah i guess that's as far as i can jump okay second jump and i'm there heck yes thanks to those warp drives that i bought earlier now i'm just going in the station to expand my exosuit and also to put this on my teleporter terminus list so if i do need to come back here i can I'm going to stick it up there. Yeah, might as well. Boom. Done, dilly and done. And now we're going to rendezvous two. Okay, this is pretty odd. I've flown in as slow as I possibly could to see if anything renders in. Aha! There's a portal over there. I bet it's the portal. Okay, so there's a portal near to a building. Hopefully this is it. Let's set on down here. Land, please. I'd imagine this is rendezvous too. There we go. Rendezvous two. Nice. Pop that. That's rendezvous two. I'm gonna get some multi-tool slot infantry, which I can't actually install because I'm already at max level. But I can now pop that badge. Sweet! There we go. Atlas Head Shield customization. Very nice. Got. 
Right. Okay. Well, we're going to be moving on to phase three. We're going to do hot pursuit. Then we've got a manufacturing gel, unbound, a second memory, and rendezvous free. So not much to do because we've already done quite a lot of this already. So there we go, people. Okay, right. So I wonder if it's going to actually find me a pirate system inside the space. If not, because we've already done a, a, a badge earlier on that's awarded me. No, that's just taken me on the expedition path. So we've done a milestone right at the start and that gave me the badge of freedom or the whatever it was called. Let me find it. This thing. Ticket to freedom. Use that. Accept that. And that should send you to a pirate system. Uh, well, that was weird. Okay. It didn't, did it? Well, that was really freaking weird. That should have worked. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, there is another way that we can do this. So if I call in the old um, spatial anomaly and we go and buy ourselves the technology to install in our ship that would help us find a pirate system. So you can see down at the bottom there, it says to install an economy or conflict scanner. Now, I tend to install the two. Now, the only thing is for a conflict scanner, you are going to need a walker's brain. So there we go. Research ship upgrades and it's the scanner that we want. So there's the economy scanner. And I'm going to go back in and I'm also going to grab the other one, which is the conflict scanner. Sweet. Okay. Now, something that I brought along with me was a walker's brain. Yeah. Mainly because I hate having to blow up walkers to get the dang thing. I didn't think I'd need it. Obviously did. So you go, walker's brain. Lovely jubbly. Coolio. And I'll grab those charts while I'm here as well. Might as well grab a few bits and bobs out of here now that I've got the extra storage. Some of these things, though, I'm probably going to end up taking back with me because we don't have to do any fishing. Right, OK, so now let's go and install those scanners inside of our ship. Conflict scanner, wiring loom, walker's brain. There we go. That's all I really need, to be fair. I put in the economy scanner anyway. Wiring loom. I need to get five microprocessors. So I go visit the station quickly and buy five. Now, sometimes missions at the actual Nexus Cube inside of there will give a walker's brain as a reward. So if you're struggling to take on a walker at this stage, then you can do that. Or just install the economy scanner, which is a lot easier to install. Right, connected trade terminal, buy some more microprocessors. Buy and microprocessors five. Pow. Thank you very much. And then over onto my starship. And slap a jack. Done, dilly and done. Right, but that, that voice of freedom card thing that I used should have highlighted a pirate system on the map. Don't know why it didn't. It's very odd. It's very peculiar. It is what it is. Okay, here we go. Now to the galactic map. Now all you want to do is go into free road mode, so on the PlayStation you press circle, and you're looking for little skull icons appearing. Now if you've only got the economy scanner, you're going to see the little skull where it says roundabout by the power generation stuff. You see like that tiny skull next to the other icon, that's what you see if you've only got the economy. If you've got the conflict, you can see a nice big skull. It just makes it easier to spot. That's the only really difference. Cool, so you only really need the economy scanner. You don't need both. I went and got both just to show both icons. Oh, would you look at that? If I wouldn't have took the first freighter, I would have got a Dreadnought freighter right there. Look at that. That's a freaking beast of a freighter as well. All right, well, I'm not too bothered anyway. I'm going to fly in here. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, I could get the Pirate Dreadnought to surrender, but that's going to cost me an arm and a leg for that. I'm really not bothered. 
Okay, so what you need to do here is you need to buy a load of contraband. Now, the actual agent that you buy stuff off of in here is just over here. It's this guy here in this corner. So go speak to him. And all the stuff at the top of his list, all the ones that have purple on, you want to try and buy all of it if you can. You can just use that arrow there to go to the max. So we just bought all of that. I don't think he's got anything else. No. I think that's all you can really buy it here. Okay, cool. We've got that though anyway. Nice. And then I'm going to fly to a normal area of space and try and offload all of this. You can't just use the teleporter in here if that's what you're thinking. And the signal is blocked. So there's no real shortcut for that one, not really. Now we'll just jump to a normal area of space, like there. Go into the station and sell it at the station. Glad to trade terminus. Okay, here we go then. Head on over here. Now it's come up with Under Rebel Star as being a mission. Maybe I had to select the mission for it to find whatever I was after. But anyway, let's have a look for all this contraband. And it's the one with all the purple on. So just sell the ones that are in purple. And it should be good. Gra gra. And I think that's everything. Just going to double check. Other areas. Yeah, I think that's it. And we're done. Well, that was easy enough. I thought we might have to do a couple of pirate systems. Yeah, I bet you, for, to find the pirate system the other way, I bet I would have had to have gone into the log and choose under Rebel Star, and then it would have took me to an outlaw station. I think that's probably what I did wrong. Okay, but there we are. Uh, I showed you how to do it either way. So, there we go. Okay, right, let's fly on out then. And uh, let's uh, see what the next mission is. Expedition manufacture unstable gel okay that's an interesting one done okay so here we go research the recipe for an unstable gel on the space anomaly so we're going back onto the space anomaly and we've got to learn the recipe for unstable gel yeah, okay, let's go do that then, I guess. And it's this machine over here, next to the multi-tool cabinet. And we're looking for the unstable gel. Well, where are you, unstable gel? Um, not there then. There's acid. Usually it freaking flashes at you, doesn't it? Unstable gel is there, so I need to unlock the acid. Then unlock the lubricant, to then unlock the unstable gel. That's a lot of nanites. Cool. Right, well, we've unlocked that then. Cool. Now we can actually craft the unstable gel. It just needs cactus flesh. Obviously, I haven't got cactus flesh. So, you could go to a cactus weld, and if you've got yourself the hazmat gauntlets, you should be able to pick it. You can get the hazmat gauntlets over here from Celine. So go into here and you want the hazmat gauntlets which are just there. So make sure you've got those and get those installed like so. Okie dokie. And then you should be able to find a cactus world. I'm hoping there's one in this system. But if there's not, I'll show you how to find one really quick and easy. There's not one. Okay, that's kind of good. If you go to the catalogue and then you go into materials and items and go into plants, select your cactus. Right, now when I go to the galactic map, it's going to show me where I can find cacti. Heck yeah! Okay, jumps, there you go. You can see that this system has got a cactus flesh planet and I'm just going there. Nice. Here we go, here's the cactus world right here. So we're going to fly on down and touch boots on the ground and pick some cacti. Okay, while you're flying over the planet, you might get lucky and spot a load of cacti. Or you might get lucky and spot a load of navigational data, like I've just spotted right here. So I'm going to jump out and grab all the navigational data. I can't let that go by. And then I'll look for the cactuses in a moment. But yeah, look at all this navigational data I just found. Freaking awesome. 
we'll be having that. Well, I won't be having that one, that's too close to my ship. But we'd have all these. Thank you, yes. Lovely, 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 lovely. Awesome. Right, now to spot the cactuses. So the cactuses would like have little airs of corn, a bit like that. And you see where it says a knocky cactus or whatever, that's what you're looking for. Right, let's go, let's go grab that. Yeah, yeah they weren't too far. But there's a storm there, so. Right, and then all you need to do is go pick them. If you've got your hazmat gauntlets, you can pick them. If you haven't got your hazmat gauntlets, you can't pick them. Okay, there we go. Zoom. Grab. Yes. Come to me, my cactusy friends. Now, you have built a base. You could buy the recipe for cactus, and you could grow it at your base. And I bet you if you went and visited another person's base, they've probably done exactly that. So you might find cactuses at people's bases if you come across a base with a biodome or grow pads or whatever they are, grow trays. There you go, grab all these. Lovely, lovely cactus. I don't know how many I'm going to need for this mission. And I don't know why it's showing about drop pods all of a sudden. If it's showing the wrong mission, you can press left on your D-pad and cycle through your missions. But it's not its not giving me the mission that I want it to show right now, which is a bit annoying. So I'll have to go back into the old expedition tab and reselect the mission. Hopefully it's going to now show it. There you go. Assemble gel. Right. Well, I'll get this last cactus. Right. There you are. Kaboom. Unstable gel. Is that all I needed to do? Yeah. That's it. Okay, bit of a bizarre mission. I don't know why I needed to do that. Okay, it's given us five storm crystals too. Bizarre. Okay, view the second memory. I'm probably going to have to craft the second memory, aren't I, first though? Which means I probably need a spare slot. Let's just get rid of that. And where is the second memory? Is that the second memory? The memory of conquest is that the one that I've got to install create the memory of conquest yeah so it's that one that I need and I need sodium nitrate have I got any sodium I have got sodium I can put it inside my refiner and that's going to refine into sodium nitrate now if you haven't got the sodium sodium plants are the little yellow ones and they show up, if you do a scan like this, they show up with that NA yellow marker. Cool. That's a lovely bug, isn't it? Okay, right. Hello. So we've got that on the bake right now. I'm just going to sit in my ship while I wait for it. You know what? I, I, might, I might tame that bug while we wait. He's quite cool. So there we go. It's not a mission. I'm just going to do it just for fun. Papa Chow! Hello, mate! Hello! Doctor's companion. Yes, you're now mine. And now you're mine, I can call you names. I could call you Trevor if I wanted to. I could name you, and I can even ride you. Come on, take me back to my ship. There you go. Look, I know it's a long way. Stop complaining, stop whinging. Get me there. Pronto! Thank you! There we go. That was worth it, wasn't it? Brilliant! Okay, now I can create the memory of conquest. There we are, it's in. Let's jump in my ship. No, 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 no. Okay, go on and have a treat. Have a pet. There you go. Yeah, don't say I didn't feed you. Right, let's go. See you later, little bug eyes. I don't know how I'm going to fit him in my spaceship. Right there! Here we go then. Let's um, stop pulsing just for a second. Let's pop that fragment. Boom. And now let's pulse. Meow. Excellent. Holy fudge. Let's talk to this one then. I'm just going to hammer through it so you know, it doesn't spoil anything. If you want to read all this yourselves, you can. 
There you go. Like short circuit. Need input. Done. Well, that's that then. Um, boom. That's a cool badge, isn't it? That one. I'm going to learn the new one. We need ionized cobalt. I know what. I think I might have some cobalt on my person. Oh, actually, I don't. Mm, I haven't been in a cave, have I? All right, well, we'll have to get that at some point then. And zoom. I could have bought cobalt at the Colossal Archive. So if you haven't been in a cave, you could have bought it there. Oh, wow, that must be the most grooviest looking station I've ever seen. It looks like it's been sponsored by Amiga or something with all those red and white checkers. Oh, I like it. That's pretty darn freaking cool. And they're actually orange, not red. But yeah, it's good. Okay, inside of this station, they sell cobalt and they even sell ionized cobalt. So I'll just buy it now. Okay, maybe I won't. Maybe I need to sell something first. I will sell the rest of my creature pellets. There you go. And now I will buy the ionized cobalt. You will be mine. Okay. Um, that's it. I bought all the ionized cobalt. Could buy that for a good measure, but no, I do. Right, we got all of that then. And while I'm in here, just go and extend my exosuit. So over here. Chicka boom. And pow. Done. Let's fire on out then. Lovely jubbly. We're heading to Rendezvous 3 now. If you if you haven't managed to find the Alice World, is there an Alice World in this system? The answer to that question is no, because that's a lava world. Darn it! Yeah, so hopefully you found the same one I found. Okay, yeah, so flying into Rendezvous 3. Now I tend to fly in fairly slowly and hope that it renders in. Something you can look for is the first comms balls to render. Oh, okay. Well, I think it's going to be this giant crash freighter. I think that's a little bit of a giveaway. I think this is a bit of a given. And I don't know whether Hello Games has removed all the comms balls from the rendezvous places, but if they have, freaking well done! And he goes, yeah, they're annoying. Go on, there we go. Let's jump on out. Yeah. I think they have got rid of all the comms balls at rendezvous points, you know. That's cool. Maybe they put them in after the expedition. But yeah, that's cool. Okay, we've got these memory fragments that haven't been popping. I didn't even realise I had those. Right, we're already on um, max, so let's pop these in. Let's see what we get. Because they give you technology sometimes, like that. Pretty darn sweet, huh? Okay, we've got a movement module. I think I've got too many mod. Yeah, I've got too many mod movement modules. Not a problem. And what's this one? Oh, okay. Cool. Lovely. Sweet. Okay. And that's now Rendezvous 3 done. And Phase 3 done. What's it offering me? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll have that for free, please. For free. Heck yeah. Lovely. Jubbly, we've got the Atlas Scepter. Sweet! Jump in the ship. Out of the ship. Create a nice little save. I've just drunk myself a cup of tea. I might go get myself a refill. Okay, Rendezvous 4. I think one of the hardest ones would have been that Sentinel one, which we've already done. So now we need to collect an ancient artifact. Okay, alright. Now, if you go up to see the cartographer. He's going to give you artifact charts if you swap him for like the navigational data. But I think I brought some charts with me. So yes, I did. So I'm going to hit that. And I'm hoping that's going to give me a relic site. Let's see. Now, you know, when you was at the very first rendezvous one and it was the Colossal Archive, there is a relic chart printing map there. You could have printed a relic chart there and gone to it then but I didn't have no nanites so didn't actually cover that one right okay well that's a monolith that hasn't quite done what I need it to do so I'll pop another one and hopefully that's going to give me either an ancient plaque or a relic site alien artifact detected 
That might give me a relic plaque. If it's a relic plaque, that could probably do the trick. Well, a plaque. Yeah, ancient plaque. That should dial me into a relic site. Let's go and have a look, see. I could have carried on popping them and got something else, but let's do. You might get lucky and get the actual relic site straight away. I'm going to fly on over here. And just show you, you can do it from this plaque if you do get a plaque. I mean, if you get a relic site, it's a lot easier than what I'm doing right now. Ciao! Head on down. Get this up. Come on. Interact to Mondo. Done, Dilly, and done. Don't just hammer through. You need to go for seek knowledge of past. That's going to find you a relic site. Historical data revealed. Now this site might just give you more lore or let you search again for the past and then you can find a site that's going to give you a relic to dig up. So it's a bit more long-winded but you have to daisy chain these things together. Ancient ruin. Let's go. Oh, this has given me the right one. This is where we want to be. Okay, right. So now what you want to do you should look for these little knowledge stone things, ancient artifact. And you've got to use your terrain manipulator to dig down into the ground. And like a little lunch box. And you've got to find three of these. So there's one. There's another one right there. This one's actually inside of the building. Grab that one. Last one. I mean, there's actually five of them in here. You can go you can dig up all of them if you really want to, but you only need three. Bum bum bum. Around here. This one's got my ship parked on top of it, so I made that one a little bit tricky for myself. Get back out of that. And then you've got to find the big chest, which is conveniently marked. There it is. Interact with that. Put your free keys in. Bang, bang, bang. That opens. Make sure you get your relic. Did I get my relic? Yes. Lost SA. Nice. Okay, right. We can pop that then. Done. And it's given us the plans for the Nautilus. Like yes, we do have to find that underwater freighter at some point, so there is that. Okay, next then, visit the site of a sunken freighter. Dun 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 dun. We need to find a planet with a lot of water. Let's have a look from space. Okay, I think this is probably our best bet, the grassy one, Wreckit V twenty six. Okay, let's have a look for Wreck It V26. Oh my god, that one looks like a tennis ball. <laughs> okay, is you Wreck It V26? Oh, that's actually got a lot of ocean on it. Whatever that one is, we're going there. It might not be Wreck It V26, but uh, let's go see what it is. It's not letting me scan it yet. You gonna let me scan you now? No, and it's locking on somewhere. So, I don't know what planet this is, but we're going to this one. It's covered in ocean. Oh, great fun. As I was getting closer to it, look. It rendered and not so much ocean now. It looked like it was mainly ocean. Now it looks like it's mainly land. Uh, well, I still, I still don't know what planet this is because it's locked onto, I think, someone's base. It's pulling me over to the far side of the planet. This is Shy Alpha. It's, an, it's a, actually a lava world. All right. Go on. Are we going down? Okay, now I don't know whether it's given us a Nautilus Bay or whether we have to actually construct a Nautilus Bay. We're going to find out one way or the other in a second. Right, well, let's see if we can put down a Nautilus Bay. It's green, so they did give us one. That's cool. Let's swim down to the old Exocraft. And let's see if they've been kind enough to give us scanners for this thing as well. That'd be handy, wouldn't it? 
Right, so I'm in here so I don't lose any oxygen. Ah, so we need a solar mirror. And we need crystallized sulfide. Well, we can put in the ferrite dust, but the solar mirror, that's going to be a fun one. I don't know whether we've got plans to build a solar mirror. We do, and I've got everything I need anyway, so I can make a solar mirror and we can stick that in. That I was worried about. The crystallized sulfide, not so worried about. Uh, you're looking for that icon there, crystallized sulfide. And how much crystallized sulfide do I need before I go too far with this? I need three. Perfect. You should find three at one site. I guess I've got to swim over there. It's going to take me a little while to get there. Oh, blast. It's underneath the ground. Now, sometimes this can go horribly wrong. Okay. So swim down. Here we go. Here it is right here. Ah, oh, see what I mean? I zapped it with my terrain manipulator. The whole thing disappeared. Ah, I hate it when they stick things underneath the ground. Right, okay. I need to find another one of those now. Darn and blast. You can see my oxygen's getting quite low. So I need to go and eat one of these kelp plants to recharge the oxygen. Okay, well there's another one over there. Let's hope that this one's above ground. Okay, so these have got these little green nodules on them. You need to collect them. Ah, uh, can't because my inventory's full. So I'm going to get rid of something. What to get rid of? What don't I overly need? I get rid of that trophy. I do. Okay. When it goes like that, don't go near it. It'll blast you and it hurts. So there we go, let's grab these. One there, one there. And it's like on a timer, it takes about 15 seconds. So you should have bags of time to grab all of them. And then we need to go back to our Exocraft. I don't think I can call my Exocraft to me, can I? Oh, I can. Well, that's handy. And you can see my auction's low right now. If I sit in this Nautilus, it should go back up. There we go. Going back up on its own. Right, let's get that fixed then. Boom. There we go. And now on the scanner, we can scan for a crash freighter. Sunken wreck detecticated. Now, I haven't got no engines in my Nautilus. So I could do with just seeing how far away it is. 26 minutes. Yeah, on your bike. All right. That's not happening. So I'm going to swim up here, see if there's an island that I can call my ship to. If there's not, I'm going to have to swim all the way back to my ship, which could take me a couple of minutes. Ah, oh, there it is there anyway. It's not that far. The nearest island I could find is like 400 years away. So I'm going to try and fly as far as I can and drop into the ocean. Blip! And swim down to it. There we go. Meow. Oh, wow. That looks pretty darn freaking cool, doesn't it? Destination reached. Do I have to interact with this? I'm just going to hammer through this. Don't want to ruin anything, so just keep pressing. Lovely, lovely, lovely. lovely. Bum, 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 bum. Some of us have got some sort of connection to the Void Mother. Anything you see in purple is Void Mother. Everything you see in red is kind of the Atlas. Right, okay. Let's go back up to my ship. Let's go, let's go. Get the rewards. What's next? Okay, done, done, done. done. Acquire Sentinel Interceptor. Okay then. All right. So it's flying up into the atmosphere. Emergency signal scanner. There we go. We've got that. Tune must have been given to me. Okay, so I need to pulse. All right. Why? Why is it doing that though? I, I don't need to find a derelict freighter. I don't need to find a derelict freighter. That's the one I should have done. All right, what the heck? It told me to do the other one. Okay. Oh, naff off.
Right. Find a dissonance system. Okay, dissonance system. So I'm looking where it says water. It says, it says orange, in orange it says water. Looking for one that says dissonant. So when I don't want a dissonant system, I find them straight away. When I do want a dissonant system, it can, there you go, there's one right there. It can take freaking ages. And I've got right to encounter. I can't be asked for that. No, I can't. Okay, where's the station? I hate it how it doesn't show the station on your mini map. You can, if you see it, you can see the icon, but it doesn't show you it on the little radar down there to try and get you to force into battle with those guys. Don't want to do it. I've done it a million times. Don't need to do it again. It's not part of the expedition. So I'm going to fly in the station. Wait till the heat's gone. Fly back out of the station. Sweet. Right, well I flew out the station and flew the opposite direction from where the freighters are and escaped the battlefield. Right, so now I should be able to use that scannery thing wherever it's gone. Has it gone? Have I used it? I can't see it. Fudge. Alright, let's uh, go into here then. Let's just hit that again. Let's see what the actual mission says. Locate. Okay, press L3. Okay, let's say crash site. Weak signal detected. Find a dissonant system. Okay. That one hasn't got the dissonant. Ah, oh, budget scan. Scan. Oh my days. There we go. Dissonance detected. Okay, so this says locate a sentinel interceptor crash site. Collect an echo locator to assist with the search. Engage sentinels and destroy their combat something or other to destroy their combat supply. Uh, uh right then. Man, I don't know, really fancy doing that. Hey, Jums, well, I landed by a manufacturing facility mainly because one, it's got cover should I need it, and two, I can sort of just stand up here and hopefully shoot the heck out of them and they might not be able to get me. Okay, right, now this scepter has got a really cool weapon in it, and it's called the neutron cannon. I can hold it down, charge up. And blaster gets. There you go. I think he's still there though. Take that, you. That's him done. I mean, they can fly up to get me, but hopefully, I'm going to get a bit of a breather up here. Oh, you get bags. Well, maybe not. Get back. Right, I'll pop that, get my shield back. Get out of it, you. Take that! Oh, in my days! Flamethrower me in the face. Did you see that? Okay. Chapow! Take that, you. At least the tanks aren't so bad up there. I mean, they can't really do their headbutt move on me anyway. Where they sh sort of barge you. Take that! Take out these little ones, easy peasy. I'm going to leave some canisters down there. So I can recharge should I need to. Right, well leave it with me. And I'll let you know when I've managed to get to like one of the final waves or whatever. Okay. It being on top of that building, they couldn't find me. So I've had to come down onto the ground. And then when they spawn in, then fly all the way back up there again. So I've got the high ground. But yeah, it's working out quite nicely for me. Just raining death from on them from up here. Boom. There we go. Where's the other ones? Come on. Maybe I have to jump back down again. I'm looking for them. I can't see any. 
I don't think it's given me the actual marker. And I'm not seeing any sentinels. But then it's not coming up saying that they're searching for me. So sentinel swarm is hunting. Where are they? Why are they all the way over there? Oi, get bags. I'm right here. Come get me. This game can be a little bit buggy at times. Where are they? One just shot me a moment ago. I'm not seeing him now. There we go. There he is. Why is my... Why has it gone down a level? Ah. Here I am! Are they back up here now or what? Stop being so blanking janky. There we go, there's one. Oh, this is silly. Okay. Oh, it's put them freaking miles away. My my wanted level is going to drop at this rate. On the opposite side of the bloody planet. What is this game bloody playing at? I'm going to be at this freaking days. Okay. If I give up playing, this will be why. I'm down to a free star now. When I had it all the way up to five. Like half an hour ago. This is insanely stupid. Oh, now look. Let's put them all the way over there. Yeah. I'm about to give up and just go to a different dissonant planet. Because this one's so blinking hilly. I don't know what's going on. It just seems to be broken as fudge. Look, I'm down to a two star rating now. Oh, this is stupid. This is bloody stupid. I don't know why they're not spawning in where I freaking called them. Right, the only thing I can think of doing is blowing the doors up on this to get my star rating all the way up. And bring them to me. Okay, come on. Now, sh now you should know where I am. And I'm just going to stay on the floor and fight them. No going on top of the building. And let's just bring them to me. And let's see if that works. Go on then. Ah. At last, at last. I'd love to see my sentinel kill count at the end of all of this. I tell you, that's insane. But that was, that was just ridiculously stupid. That took me freaking time. Yeah. It's, it's hard to say that I'm having fun when something like that happens. Does look like a pretty nice sentinel ship. Maybe that would make it feel worth it. This was a stone's throw away from where I was fighting those sentinels. Mental. Okay. There we go. Take all those bits out. Okay. And now I need a radiant shard, inverted mirror and harmonic brain. Seriously. I, 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 have I got to fix it as well? Is that part of it? You're having a laugh. Okay. Are you going to help me out? No. Okay. No parts here. Okay, right. So now I've got to get all these bits. Okay. So what were they? Radiant Shard, I can get that, that's just there. The Harmonic Brain is the only thing that I'm not 100% sure on how I get anymore. 
Okay, right, it's been a long time since I've done this, so here we go. Radiant Shard. Oh, God. Blow up. There we go. Let's stick the Radiant Shard in. What? I need three Radiant Shards. Of course I do. Yeah, well, at least the Sweep Scanner is locking onto them. So they're a little way away. There's some over here. Hopefully it does that with all the bits I need. That'll be freaking handy. Zap. One Radiant Shard. Oh, you're having a laugh. Does that mean I didn't get it? That means I didn't get it, doesn't it? Ah, oh. barge! Okay, now I need the inverted mirror. Oh, it's locking onto that as well. This is good, this is good. How far away is that? 500 odd U's. What about you? 300, that's closer. That'll do me. Now, I could fly there in my ship, but I'm leaving my ship here to mark where that ship is. Let's head on over here then. Oh, before I do that, it might be an idea to chuck some stuff into my starship. There we go. Right. Okay, inverted mirror time. I think they can give you the brain sometimes, can't they? Well, oh, that's taken ages. Let's use a neutron cannon. Does area effect, doesn't it? So it's going to hit all of them. Boom. Got an echo locator. Get out of it. Did I get the inverted mirror? I don't know whether I did or didn't. Do I have to interact with something? Sorry, this has been such a long time since I've done this. But I didn't get it, I don't think. Nest resonator located. Distance 215 U's. Okay, I guess I didn't get it then. Let's go over here. Hello, Sentinels. Yeah, it's me again. I'm only after him, the big guy. Right, there, now we've got an inverted mirror. Okay. The ship's brain rejects control of the outside en entity. Harmonic brain is required to complete pilot override. Locate the brain in the inventory. Okay. Brain in the inventory. Brain, brain, brain. In the inventory. I had not seen a brain. All right, let's go back to my ship. Maybe it's in my ship. This is weird. Okay, the only thing that's flashing at me is this echo locator. So let's do that then. Sweet. This is all weird. I haven't done this for such a long time. I already got one Sentinel ship and that was enough for me. Right, okay. I'm going to put down a beacon here. Just in case I don't have a marker to get back. So the way I did that was put down, use the analyst visor and press square on PlayStation. And square is the same button you use to like reload and stuff. Okay, well it's pointing me over to this thing for some reason. Let's interact with that then. I don't remember having to do all this before. Right, here we go. This is mental. Scan memory re-registers, and you've got to do a mathematical equation. It's so late. Okay, right, so... There we go, let's work this out then. I think it's 14, 4 and 9. 14, 4 and 9. 14, 4 and 9. Okay, 14, 4 and 9. So... 14... 4... And... 9... 
Compliance granted. Brilliant. Lift lockdown. There we go. Right. I'm not 100% sure why I had to do that. Yeah, well, do I talk to this? Bing! I don't think so. Right. Well, the actual text at the bottom of the screen doesn't mention anything about coming here. It says the chip brain rejects the control from the outside entity. A harmonic brain is required to complete the pilot override process. Locate the brain in the inventory and probe its subconsciousness. Well, I've got no brain inside of here. There's nothing there. There it is. It's inside my ship. Probe consciousness. Jet hack. It was inside my ship. Okay. And now it's pointing me back to the ship that I was already at. You're having a laugh, right? Man. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's too late. I mean, what is the time here? I haven't got a clock anywhere. Let me have a look. It's actually 10 to midnight. Okay, now it's pointing me over to a monolith. Now, I don't know whether all these steps were needed or necessary, but this one step for getting a centralised ship has been the bane of this expedition. Mainly because I had all those problems with those corrupted sentinels. And everything just feels a little bit janky. Even interacting with that felt janky. Right, there we go. Done. Now I've got the harmonic brain. Budging piece of cack. Right, let's go. I don't even want the sentinel ship. That's that's the thing. Okay, it's just a freaking milestone to be done. Ship is not loading. Ah, oh, there we go. Now it's landing as soon as I hit record. Yep, that was fun. It must have flown past about three times before it let me land. But okay, I mean, this ship does look really quite cool. It is nice. Okay, there we go, done. Compare. I'm going to claim the ship, but I'm not going to swap it. Okay, captured Sentinel ship, nice. Pop the badge. That badge took an inordinate amount of time. I thought some of the other badges were going to be hard, you know, like the photographing of the three different planets. That was stupidly hard. OK, right. OK, the next one is plen plate cleanser or palate cleanser. Bake some biscuits and I've got to find some heptaloid wheat. We're right near to the ship. Here's some heptaloid wheat. Something has gone right. Heck yes, it's a stone's throw away. Let's go get the wheat. Nice one. Okay, I thought I was going to have to fly to a different planet and find out which planets have got the right goods and all that sort of shenanigans. Okay, right. It's locking me onto something else now. Oh, more wheat. Okay, maybe I need extra wheat then. Okay. Ah! Okay, just as I was saying, the game was being nice to me, and then it does that dumb, double jumpy weirdness. Okay, here we go. Let's go grab that then. Pick it. There we go. That took a little while. Now what? Give me the mission. Locate raw gra ingredients flour and sugar. Many plants like sweet root. Sweet root. Okay, let's see if we can find some sweet root then. Um, I don't. Uh, I don't know whether this has got sweet root on this planet. This is where it could get a little bit weird. Sweet root, sweet root. Where are you? Okay. Um, right. Let's trust that then. No, that's heptaloid wheat again that it's trying to find me. Okay, right, so I need to find sweet root for sugar. I'm fairly sure I can create sugar out of quite a lot of different plants. It doesn't have to just be sweet root. I'm fairly sure it doesn't anyway.
Yeah, right. You found some sweet root. It's still on the same planet. It's on all planets apart from dead planets, apparently. I looked it up on Google. Right, let's head on over here. Let's go on down here. Unless I've grabbed you then. Right, we've got some sweet root. We've got something else as well. I've got pulpy root and two. Okay, fine. And I think that's all I need. Uh, where's my ship gone? Right, let's call in my ship. Pack that there. Then I want a nutrient processor. Right. And what do I need to build that? Hermetic seal and sodium. Okay. Uh, sodium. There's some sodium right there. Is it going to give me 25 in one grab? Let's see. Meow. Yeah. Well, it would have to be next to a freaking hazardous plant. And it only gives you nine. You're having a laugh. Okay, right. Let's go grab some more. I'm probably going to need it in my hazard protection before too long, though. Dang it. Nine. So if, I'm going to have to pick up like three of these plants. Actually, 9, 18, 21, 4 all plants. Oh, dang it. Not that one. That one. I want to put in a battery. Okay, that's a plus on that one. Don't want that one. Oh, my days. How many hazardous plants are you stuck around this one? I've got it. That should give me enough. I'm going to grab one more just to be sure. Right, let's head back over towards my ship just in case another storm rolls in. Zoom. Let's hope that we can craft the Hermetic Seal. Looks like there's a dangerous animal chasing me or something. Yeah, it's a cat creature. It's closing ground fast. There's another one coming from the south. They're all after a bit of me. I'm a tasty frickin' Steve. I guess I am. Okay, I'm going to turn over here. Right. Okay. Let's craft the Hermetic Seal. If I've got space, which I frickin' don't, do I? And I don't know what I need and what I don't need. Right, let's put that in there. The Hermetic Seal. Ah, oh, I can't see shite. Oh, my days, I need condensed carbon. Making condensed carbon. Right, I've made the hermetic seal. Now I can put down my nutrient processor. Sweet. Okay. Prepare the flour. So put in the wheat, essentially. So the wheat into there you go. And that's going to make the flour. Okay, now we need to create the sugar using sweet root. Let's put the sweet root in. Lovely. Sugar, 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 tan, 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 tan. Ooh, honey, honey. Then mix the flour and sugar in the nutrient processor, and that should make sourdough. Okay, in we go. And we need the flour. I've got a lot more flour than I've got sugar. Sugar down 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 Ooh, sugar dough down 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 Okay, right. Bake your chosen biscuit. Experiment with ingredients. Sugar dough, bake different items. Okay, let's put sugar dough in there then. Take that out. That's going to make a simple biscuit. Let's try putting in some pulpy roots with it. Healthy wheat block. That'll do. Hopefully that's still a freaking biscuit. It better be. Let me um, let me just make sure that's a biscuit. Yes, that 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 counts as a biscuit. Cool. Well, I'll, I'll carry on making the rest. Might as well. Might as well have five of them. Lovely, freaking jubbly. Done. Okay. Popped. There we are. Right, what's next? Deep glass, the third memory. Okay. So now I need to make this thing. And I've already bought the ionized cobalt. Ha, preempted that one. I was flying up through the atmosphere. Meow. Pop that. 
And pulse. Apacha! Let's see what memory we get this time. Holy moly. Okay. Lovely, lovely. Go through that. Absorb memory. Sweet. And that's that one done. Scream into the void. I remember when I saw the steps of this originally, and I got so excited thinking, oh, we're going to go into the void. We're going to go. No. Right. Okay. I need to make some space. So I'll, um, I'll be right back with you in a moment. Hey, okay, can claim that badge. Lovely jubbly. Need more condensed carbon. Okay. Sweet. Pop on over here. Let's see if we can make some more condensed carbon. Have we got any carbon on me? Go on. Have some carbon. You know you want some. Now I've got condensed carbon. Did I spin all of my carbon up? Nope. Got the 546 there. Let's we'll stick that in there. We get that going on the way then. Sweet. We'll have that in a mo. Right. Might as well jump to the next rendezvous then. Yep. Come on, all the way. Thank you. Okay, I think I've arrived, and it looks like another monolith-type portal thing. Ciao. And it's the opposite side. Ciao. Done. Rendezvous four reach decoded. Let's grab that. Like yes. Don't know what it's trying to do there. Maximum storage has already been reached. Grab that one. Got this flight pack. Nice. Golia. Right, so this is going to now be phase five. Let's go into here. Phase five, the final phase. We haven't got too much to do now. Visit a blue star and then the final memory Lovely, but looks like we've now got to go and talk to Apollo up in the Spatial Anomaly. Let's go. Up to the stars. Spatial Anomaly. Okay, well how do there, Apollo? What have you got to say for yourself? I need to speak to him. Okay, so there we go. It says return to your ship and leave the Space Anomaly. Okay, so there we go. We're going to go do that then. Got a new icon, like this little exclamation mark, so we're going to go there. Zoom! I'm heading down to planet Anakalili. The icon disappeared and then this just merged in. So it's another downed, crashed freighter. So we're going to fly on down there and land here. Sweet. Yeah, I've interacted with that. It's saying that I need to salvage all the pods here, but seriously? Okay. Okay. All right. Specialist Polo Breach and Traveler. Yeah. Okay. It's pointing me 400 and something use that way. Really? Maybe this wasn't where I needed to come to and I just thought it was. This is weird. I think it was just sheer fluke that there was a giant crashed freighter there, people. Because it's led me over here. To this chap. Hello, mate. How are you? Okay, cool. Interact with this guy. Bally, bally, bally. Tells me not to drink the water. Pretty twiddly. Gives me some planetary coordinates to their grave. How far are you talking, mate? I can't walk that far. <laughs> it's off planet. Okay, calling my ship. Face it the way I want to go. I want to see you over there. Unknown grave. Let's fly on down. Rise from your grave. Altered beast. Sega. I guess. It's a love altered beast. Yeah, um, just like the uh, bear best because you could turn things into stone and you could smash them. Great fun. Yeah, let's land. Let's interact with this grave then. Okay, the ones that I thought, the milestones that I thought would be nice and easy, 
have been the most drawn out and bugged out. I mean, look, I'm holding down square to interact. Now it finally does it. I didn't let go of square once then. Running around in circles trying to get it to freaking move. Go. I mean, how the hell did his grave be on this planet when his image was on another? That would be really odd. But anyway, this is a nice planet though. I'm glad I saw it. It's uh, one of those floating island planets. Very cool planet. Very nice planet. Okay. I wonder if this system has got like an airless world in it though. I'm still wondering whether you guys have managed to find an airless world. I mean, I haven't seen them uh, other than the one that I found. And that was, I don't know whether that was chance that I came out my black hole there. I'm hoping other people had because a lot of it had been discovered. But it's a bit of an odd one. Okay, we've got, now we've got to search for a blue system from space. Again, this is going to be quite random. The blue system I find isn't going to be the blue system that you guys find. That's a blue one right there. Zoom. So yeah, I brought my idiom drive along. I don't know whether you've been gifted a blueprint for a um, idiom drive, but if not, you should have the cadmium one, and then you get all the cadmium, and then get your emerald drive, and so forth and so on, until you got your idiom drive. Oh, there we go. Look, that's a desolate planet. Mounds rusted metal. Not that overly helps you all that much, though, because that was a random jump. Okay, right there we go. Let's grab that. Sweet. Oh, what I could do, though, is I could give you the coordinates, I suppose, couldn't I? There you go. That's got an airless world in it. There you are. Enjoy your airless world inside of Euclid, but you'd need all the portal glyphs to get that. Right, okay. Next, we've got to what? Craft the, the void? What? Aha. I need my condensed carbon, which I should have in here. Lovely. Come back out of that. Ah, you Get back. Activate. And pulse. Zoom. That should be the last memory. What have we got? Oh, my days. Hello, giant space, whatever that should be. That looks a bit rude, to be honest, doesn't it? There we go. Absorb the memory. Go. Cool. Right, get out of there. Don't shoot it. It only hurts you. Okay. Boom. And he's given us 512 hexite. Eclipse. Return to the Atlas. Okay. Galactic map is it automatically going to give me an atlas station. It has. It's got a red line. And away we go. Okay, and go talk to the atlas again. I wonder if it's going to zap us and teleport to somebody somewhere random again. Again, it's got these two podiums, so we're going to get ourselves some free warp fuel, hopefully. Yes, please. Yes, please. And let's interact to Mondo. Let's get some lore out of this thing. Sweet. Go. Cool. Let's get... There we go. Listened to the Atlas. We've got some epic music playing. My inventory is full. Right. Can I screw some of this into my starship? Um, what can I delete? Probably that, but... I'm, I'm a little bit nervous. I'll get rid of that then. And that. And can we install this? No. No room for it. That can go as well then. Alright, cool. Now let's see if we can pop that badge. We did. Last rendezvous point. Let's go. Let me in my ship. I'm stuck. Yeah, I'm stuck. There we go. Now we can get out. Yeah, okay, right. Well, let's fly on down to Rendezvous 5. Final Rendezvous. There are some alternate milestones. Optional milestones. I might do a separate video for them. I can't really remember how you go about triggering them, to be honest. Or, or what they're all about. I think they're community-driven. 
Right, we'll land here. They landed first time that time. Brilliant day. Eh? They must know that it's well past my bedtime on a school night. Yep. Not good. Ah! 50% chance that I get the right side. And every time, every time, the wrong side. There we go. Done, diddly and done. Now it's epic music time. Oh, look at me go, moonwalking. Pop the badges off, walking backwards. <laughs> oh yeah, let's pop that one. Sweet. So, that you get the lovely Atlas sort of face shield. You get the Atlas scepter. You get the Atlas wingsuit. But make sure you collect this final badge here, and that's going to give you the Starborn Runner. The Starborn Runner is a beautiful ship. This is it right here. Let's claim that free ship. Let's bring that free ship in. There it is right there. I want to show you it landing, though, because this ship is freaking gorgeous. There you go. Here it comes. Look at that ship. It hovers in place as well. This is a beautiful, beautiful ship. And I think as... As tedious as this expedition is because I think a lot of the badges in this one have been in previous ones and then running it for a redux as well there is nothing new in any of these badges inside of this expedition but the Starborn Runner makes it feel worth doing okay right so let's um let's let off some fireworks shall we I'm sure it gave, gave me some fireworks or did I scrap them because I have run out of inventory space I probably scrapped them or they're probably in my other ship one second. Let's call in my other ship quickly. Um, ship, ship, ship. Let's call that one in. Did I put some fireworks inside of the... I did. There they are right there. Let's put them inside my exosuit. We've got the two ships here. I have enjoyed flying around in that. That's been quite a good little ship. Okay, right. Firework time. Let's let them off. It would have been nice if the uh, music was still playing. All the epic music, but you know... We can only do what we can do. Heck yes. Thank you very much, people in the viewerverse, for watching. Hopefully you've been playing along and pausing this and then catching up with me, then pausing it, catching up with me, watching a bit more, you know. So a play along thing. I think I fluffed up quite a fair bit on getting that Sentinel ship. Hopefully you did it the right way. No need to sound up in the comments. I know I didn't do that too well. It's been a long time since I got a Sentinel ship. But anyway, people out there in the viewerverse, they're all my tips to get it done and get it done fairly quickly. I don't know what my runtime on that was. Um, because of some weird bugs with the Sentinels and despawning, I think it took me a lot longer than it needed to, to be honest, people. And um, I would say it's worth doing because the actual rewards were very nice. But other than that, it's it's not the most exciting or riveting of expeditions it has got quite a lot of lore in there if you're a lore buff and you like a little bit of snippets of leto and how they related to the void mother i think you're going to enjoy the lore so yeah i didn't try to spoil any of that for you guys i'll leave that for you to enjoy till next time goodbye goodbye and goodbye again